Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it's vlog day. So happy to see every single one of you. All right, I have my Tumblr from the tutorial I did on um, Friday. There we go. Have that for you guys. Now, uh, I really love how that pinstriping turned out. So cute. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. It's kind of like modern, but still kind of rustic looking. I really like how it turned out. Now I wanted to ask you guys, because I've been doing it this way for years and maybe it's just like what people want to do or you know how they feel it should be, but I tend to put my, my coats from the, the top down and I notice a lot of people are starting to do it from the bottom up. I know like um, brands, you know, uh, Coca-Cola, they do the same thing where the, the brand is from the, the top to the bottom type thing and all that so that way when you're drinking out of it, it can be red and all that. But I mean, I've always done it this way. What, what do you guys prefer? How do you how do you prefer the way it looks? Maybe next time I'll try doing it from the bottom to the top just to see how it looks. But I mean, this is the way I've done it for years. I think I've only had, I wanna say maybe two, three people, customers over the years um, request to have it put uh, from the bottom to the top. But other than that, everybody else has always wanted it this way. So I, I guess it's just all in a matter of, um, you know what's visually pleasing you know I don't I don't think it, there's like a set way that it should be done I, I guess it's just visually pleasing you know what I mean so how, how do you guys do it how do you prefer but I really like how you can just see just a little bit of the pattern on each side of it and it's just a little bit nothing you know not a full-on split or anything like that just a, a touch of of everything kind of here and there you know <laughs> I was a little nervous to do uh, the leopard print because I just did a leopard print a couple weeks ago, but I really wanted to do this design and I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for it. All right, so today uh, I'm finishing up my beach tumblers. They just need their personalization. I got to give them a good sanding and some personalization and those will pretty much be done. Uh, what else do I want to do? We're going to be doing a Bengal keychain. Uh, for my my little gnome keychain that I had gotten from one of you guys. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I also told you that Molly might be joining me, but probably not. So <laughs> the reason for that is because um, my package was supposed to be delivered yesterday and I checked this morning and it said it, UPS said that it was delivered on my front porch at one o'clock and it's, it wasn't out there. It's not out there. So either they didn't, sometimes they do that. They'll say they delivered something and it's not out there and then they deliver it the next day. Have you guys had that happen before? Um, so either it will be delivered at some point today and they just said it was delivered already or somebody may have taken it. <laughs> but thankfully uh, we have cameras all over our house, all over the outside of our house. And I'm just waiting on Jeff to kind of go over the footage to see if the UPS guy even came by yesterday. So hopefully somebody didn't take my package. We'll see. <laughs> All right, well, we should go ahead and get our projects done today. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? I got my tumbler and I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna get this keychain going. You remember this keychain? Wendy had given this to me, how adorable. He's so cute, I absolutely love him so much. So I have my keychain bangle here, but it needs to be cleaned. It's, it's uh, you know, but I, I have a this issue where I don't clean my molds and then when I go to use it, I'm like, I wish I would have cleaned that uh, once I was done. But so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up really quick. Now you guys know I love doing um, coasters and stuff like that to match with my tumblers and I used to do them a lot. I don't do them so much anymore on my on my tutorials. Maybe I should do more. Okay, anyways, <laughs> but I love doing the bangles and all that. It's really fun to have something different for each holiday or season or anything like that. So they're just really fun to do. Okay, so anyways, I had 30 milliliters of epoxy and I went ahead and divvied that up into three separate cups and I'm going to use the same kind of colors that uh, she had used on the keychain. I had orchid there. I'm going to put into one cup now here I have this resin dye, which I bought from Alumalite, all kinds of beautiful dyes in there. And I'm going to use this translucent uh, ocean blue. I have yet to use it yet. And make sure you wear your gloves when you go to open this up, because a little tiny bit in your whole hand will be completely dyed with this blue. I mean, I'm telling you, this stuff is very, very 
potent. <laughs> I've done it before. Now, when I went to go squirt this in here, I accidentally put way too much. A little tiny dab is all I needed, and I accidentally squirted way too much in there. So it's all good. I'll, you know, I'll show you guys at the end here. Now into this next cup, I'm gonna use Judy Blue. I believe that was another color that she used on that keychains because she used the colors from SFC Glitters um, on her keychain. So I, I believe those were the two, one of the, or two of the colors that she used. I can't remember what else she used on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir those up and then we're gonna start putting them into the Bengal keychain mold. And what I have everything on there, I just got from the dollar store. It's one of those like cutting boards, it was a dollar. 25 $1.25 <laughs> and I'm just going to use that to kind of tote my bingle around as well all right so my plan with this is I wanted the glitters to kind of resemble the beading that is on the keychain itself so I just want to do everything kind of in segments almost like how the beads are so I'm just going to kind of divvy this up into I think about four different segments is how I'm going to do each one of the the glitters here so I'm starting off with a Judy Blue, and then after I lay down my Judy Blue, I'm going to go ahead and put in the Orchid as well. And if you see how I'm doing it, these little cups work so much more easier. And pretty much you just lay it right at the seam, and it all kind of sinks down into the mold. And I just do a little bit at a, at a time because you don't want to overfill your, your molds here. You want to leave a little bit of space. You know, you don't want to fill it to the very, very top. So... Uh, that's just to help out with the sanding process when we're done. I kind of like to leave a little channel inside of it uh, once it's all cured and everything. I'll show you guys here in a second what I mean by that, but you you just it'll shrink a little bit as it cures, and you just want to make sure that it has that little bit of a channel in it, so that way we can finish tidying it up. Because if it if it bumps up too much, then you'll have a lot of sanding you'll have to do because it'll be a, like a big block on top. So, anyways, I'll I'll show you guys here in a second. So I'm just layering up my glitters here. I added some of that ocean blue and some more orchid, and I'm just kind of layering it, and I'm gonna pinch it to help any little bubbles get out of there. I actually even kind of tap it on the table a little bit to help those bubbles rise to the top as well. And once I am done doing all that, I'm just going to take my board and put it somewhere where it's nice and even. So I pretty much put it right on top of those white uh, drawers you see behind me in my beginning and ending of my vlog there. So I'm just going to go set it right on that because that's the most even place in my garage. Everywhere else is kind of slanted. Well, my turners are pretty straight too. I can put it there too. <laughs> all right, now let's go ahead while that cures and move on to our tumblers. All right, the last thing I have to do before I put on my decals is I just need to sand them down one more time. Again, whenever you're working with these waves, it's okay to, if you're using the, the same kind of uh, technique that I did, I don't know for anything else that anybody else is using. I know a lot of people have asked me, can I use acrylic paints? I mean, I'm assuming you can. I have not done it yet. Um, I'm assuming you could and, and maybe kind of have the same look. You just have to really blend it and all that, but... With this stuff, you can sand it down pretty good and you can't even tell that you've sanded it. So I'm just gonna give it a good sanding on all these tumblers and then I'm gonna apply my decals. So to apply my decals, these are screw tops. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on to kind of help me figure out where I should put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down the best that I can. You wanna make sure that you clean up your rim really well before you put the lid on, because if you don't clean up the rim before you put your lid on, it won't go down as tight as it should. So you wanna make sure your rim is, is you know, as clean as it's gonna get. You wanna make sure you have it, all that extra epoxy peeled away, sanded down, however you wanna have it, and that lid should be able to go down perfectly for you. And as you guys know, the hardest part uh, when it comes to personalization is figuring out a font. So if you guys like the font that I used, I'll make sure to put it down in the description box. It is off my Cricut design space. It isn't something I downloaded from anywhere else. I, I do pay that monthly, that extra monthly thing to have all these extra little perks on my Cricut, which is nice because I have a Cricut. Why not pay the extra, I guess, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to use just a basic white and gold. So the white I did a white offset and then now I'm going to be using, I think it's the textured, correct? yeah, it's the textured stuff. I just really like the way that stuff looks. I think it's really pretty and it just kind of gives a little bit more once that epoxy goes over top. So that's how I did up their names. Now I did ask the kids because somebody had given me a really good idea to put their names kind of off. I thought about 
doing it in the sand area and because somebody had said why don't you do it in the sand and I'm like well that would be really cute so kind of like at the bottom you know because you know personalization can be however you want it you know and I thought that was a really cute idea but I asked the kids I'm like where do you want it do you want it here at the top where I'm putting it or do you want it kind of down at the bottom in the sand because I was going to do it smaller and they all unanimously said I want it at the top in the middle so this was the kids choice it's their teacher that's how they want it to look so I guess I won't try get to try it that other way that I wanted to. <laughs> but I could not be happier with how this turned out. I know it's a little bit different from the tutorial I showed you guys, but this is what art's all about. To experiment, to explore new ways, and to see what works for you. And I just absolutely love how they, these turned out. I, I love how they're positioned. I love how the names kind of are in the waves. And I don't know. It, it, I just really love it. And I hope you guys love it too. And I hope the teachers love it too. <laughs> All right. So the keychain bangle, there we go. I'll say that five times fast, uh, is ready to be unmolded. So here's the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and take it out of our mold and see how I did. Okay, now first glance, you know, I was really upset how dark I accidentally made my blue because it should be looking like the Judy blue. It should be light, light blue like that, but I actually really like it. You know, it just kind of gives it just a little bit more, but I, I think the colors are definitely there and I kind of like how it has that that calico pattern to it and it does kind of match the beading as well which is is really nice so i am happy with how it turned out i just wish some of those places were a little bit different but it's all good all right i'm going to hold it up to the camera you see that little channel that it made so it's actually dipped in the center there which is going to make it a lot easier to clean up i'm going to take my razor knife and i'm just going to hold my bangle down and slice all that extra flashing off the back of it now if i wouldn't have uh if i would have accidentally filled it too much that whole channel would have been completely filled in and would have made it a little bit harder to clean up the back like i'm doing here so i'm going to take my sandpaper after i trim all that and I'm just going to sand it down really good so it's not all lumpy and everything. And then I'm going to come through and wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol. And I do want to mention that I am trying to just keep it where that channel is at. I don't want to hit it up, you know, anywhere else on the bangle with my sandpaper. I'm going to clean it up with my rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to fill in that little bit of area with my UV resin. I'm going to hit it up a little bit with my UV light just to kind of set it. And then I'm going to go place it out into the sunlight to finish curing. And I'm sure you guys will probably ask where I got my bingo, my bingo, bangle mold. There we go. <laughs> and I just got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have these kits that have all these uh, silicone molds in it. And that, that's pretty much where I got it. They have little comb ones. I need to do that with the kids. Do um, I need to make up little brushes for their dollies and stuff. I think they would like that. <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. So they have all these little packets they do. So, and there we go. All right. So... My keychain bangle, oh, there we go. My keychain bangle all done. Super cute. I love it. Now I can use it. I like to carry my keys like this, especially when I'm in the store, because sometimes it'll get lost in my bag and stuff, and it's I'm trying to fumble with it. So I actually just carry my keys right around my arm when I'm out shopping and stuff, and it's right there when I need it. So I am a little disappointed with how dark this came out. I can't believe I accidentally put so much into my epoxy it happens but this blue looks very similar to that so it all kind of goes together you know the darker it just gives it a little bit more you know like contrast and stuff so you know now I have a nice smooth bangle keychain bangle bangle to go with my my key ring or my my pretty little gnome guy look how cute he is super what do you guys think does it look all right and I have my these guys. Okay, I got to um, two last finishing coats. I'm gonna do that today, probably this afternoon after the kids go to bed. I'll throw them on the turner and, and get those going. So those are those. Two last coats I'm gonna put on them. I'm gonna scrub them up really good because super important. Anytime you give gifts, just anytime you sell a tumbler or anything like that, you gotta clean it out really good, scrub it down the best that you can. I mean, nothing should be left inside of there. There should be no remnants of anything for my for my new friends out there. But, you know, <laughs> it's super important. You never wanna send off a tumbler that looks, that has epoxy inside of it or paint or glue or anything like that. 
scrub them out really good. So I'll get those epoxied <laughs> and then I'll make sure to post a photo in the community tab for you guys once I do that. All right, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to go check on my shipment, like I told you guys earlier. <laughs> It turns out I accidentally pressed the wrong tracking number. This was from an old order. It was like right above my new order. <laughs> and so I thought it was delivered already. I'm like, ah, I thought somebody took it. Turns out I pressed the wrong tracking number and it'll be here this week. So Molly will be joining me next Sunday because we have to get that done. She has to figure out how much she wants to sell her stuff for. She has to come up with a little sign. We're going to be doing up her little things, maybe add some sticker because we're extra. We're going to maybe do all that. And so that's what we're going to be doing next Sunday. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I better get back in there. These kids need to be fed and I got laundry I got to do and I got tumblers. I still got to get going, you know, for tutorials and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.